Hi, pre-algebra. Um, to review chapter 10, I pulled some problems from the, the chapter review and from the practice test, since we're not really doing either one of those, okay? But I thought those would be helpful to help you review before we have our quiz. Okay, so 10.1 was all about triangles. And in triangles, we, we know that a triangle has to add up to um, 180 degrees, and that's what we start with. So I know with this triangle that it has to add up to 180 degrees. So 66 plus 4y minus 6 plus y equals 180. That says three things added up. Triangle has three angles add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so I want to simplify. So 5y, 66 minus 6 is 60 equals 180. Subtract 60 from both sides. 5y equals 120. Divide by 5. Um, and you could do that in your head, you, but if you can't, you use your calculator. That equals um, 24. Okay, so and this one angle is 24 degrees, so it's acute. This one's acute, but they have to add up to 180. What's the other one? Okay, so this adds up to 90 degrees. Guess what 4y minus 6 is? 90 degrees, because 90 plus 90 is 180. So it is a right triangle. Okay, let's look at number 7. And this came out of the chapter review, so it's in your book if you can't see the numbers. Okay? But we've got um, 33 degrees plus y plus 8y plus 3, and that's going to add up to 180 degrees. Now, you may look at that and say, oh, I'm looking at the picture. It's got to be an obtuse triangle because that angle is bigger than 90 degrees. Uh, be careful because in geometry, sometimes the picture is deceiving, and they'll use the same picture for... 10 different problems. So it's just a general repre representation, and then you've got to prove that that's really true. Okay, so we've got um, 9y plus 33 plus 3 is 36 equals 180. Subtract 36 from both sides, and that's going to give you 144. So y equals 16. I just know that one, okay? Um, so, 8 times 16 plus 3, and that's 128 plus 3 is 131. So, because that is indeed greater than 90 uh, degrees, it is an obtuse triangle, okay? All right, now, I pulled some from the practice test and I don't know if you can read those or not, but I'll read it out loud. It says the perimeter of a triangle is 53 inches. The length of one side is 15 inches. The other two sides are congruent, so it's isosceles. Find their lengths. Okay, I always find it helpful to draw a picture. Two sides are the same, so I'm going to call them X because I don't know what they are. The other side is 15. Okay, so from that... I know that my equation would be, oh, you know what, I'm going to move this up. Sorry, I'm going to cover that up, but you can look at it later. Uh, my equation for this number one would be x plus x plus 15 equals 53, or 2x plus 15 equals 53. So when I subtract... 15 from both sides, that's going to give me 38, okay? And again, if you don't know that, you, you can subtract it, or you can use your calculator. That's what you've got one for, okay? Divide that by 2, and x equals 19. So my other two sides are 19 inches. Number two says, the ratio of the angle measures of a triangle is 1 to 3 to 8. Find the angle measure 
then classify the triangle by its angle measures. So again, this is one of those ones where they've divided out the GCF because with ratios, you want them in simplest form. So that's x plus 3x plus 8x is going to equal 180 degrees. So that gives me um, 12x equals 180 degrees. 180 divided by 12 is 15. So x is 15 degrees, and then 3x is 45 degrees, and then 8x is... 120 degrees, so it's an obtuse triangle. Okay, so that idea of ratios means I've got to put back in what was divided out. Now, number three looks at this shape. It's got tick marks on each side. It says, tell whether the figure shown is a polygon. If it is, classify it. If not, explain why. Well, it's a closed figure. All of its sides are line segments, and they're all congruent. Now, because they're congruent, that means that they have to be parallel. Now, we don't know anything about the angles, except we can probably assume that since these two are going to be parallel, and these two are going to be parallel, that the acute angles are going to be congruent, and the obtuse angles are congruent, but it's a rhombus. Okay, it's the only thing it could be. Okay, let's look at, at our um, area. Area, remember, has those little formulas. This one's a trapezoid, and because it's a trapezoid, the area equals one half base one plus base two times the height. So my two bases are always my two sides that are parallel. So on this number four, I'm going to have one half times 10 plus 20, and my height is 12, okay? 10 plus 20 is 30. Uh, I want to leave the 30. I want to do half of 12. Half of 12 is 6, because I can do 6 times 30 in my head. That equals 180 meters squared. Remember, 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 area is always in square units, okay? So half of 12 is 6. 6 times 30 is 180. So the area is 180 meters squared. Okay, this one is a parallelogram, okay? Because they don't tell me two bases, okay? Um, the height, they didn't put it inside, but it would be the same. The height is 5 feet. So because it's a parallelogram, I'm just going to do base times height, okay? 8 times 5 equals 40, and again, it's got to be square units, okay? Do you want to do another trapezoid? Okay, this is a trapezoid because it gives me two bases, so I know that I'm going to do 1 half, 4 plus 14, times 8. Okay, 4 plus 14 is 18, half of 18 is 9, times 8 equals 72 meters squared. Okay, now if they gave me the area and I was missing a side, that would be an equation to solve. Sorry, you can't see that answer, can you? But you know that 9 times 8 is 72. There it is, 72 meters squared. Okay, I pulled out this one about the rug. A circular rug has a diameter of 15 feet. So I know that the diameter equals 15. It says find the area of the rug to the nearest square foot, then find the circumference to the nearest foot, nearest foot, use 3.14 for pi. So knowing that the diameter is 15, the radius is half of that, or 7.5. 
Now, sometimes I can use the diameter, but because I want area, okay? Remember, area is pi times r squared. So I've got to know r, okay? So I'm gonna do 3.14 times 7.5 squared. That's a calculator problem, okay? I would not make you do 7.5 times 7.5 times 3.14, okay? So you could use your calculator for that one. 7.5 squared times 3.14 gives me, and I'm gonna round to the nearest foot, so that's, since it's since it's 176.625, this six tells me to round it up to 177 um, square feet. The circumference is just the diameter times pi, so I can use my 15. 15 times 3.14. I could do 7.5 times two, but I don't need to. 15 times 3.14 equals 47.1. And since we're rounding again to the nearest, um, so it's about 47 feet, okay? Hope that helps you with all our different shapes. Um, if not, call me for a Teams conference. Bye.